What's up guys, welcome back to Watch Years. I'm Nick, and tonight we have another Hell Farmstead beer while I'm on vacation here in uh, Waterbury, Vermont. Uh, tonight is What is Enlightenment? Um, it's an American Pale Ale, uh, brewed in honor of Hill Farmstead's second anniversary. Um, it comes in at 5.4%, and it's brewed with two types of hops, Amarillo and Simcoe. And um, so yeah, let's get right into it. It is hazy, like all their beers pretty much. I mean, they're unfiltered from what I can tell, and um, it's golden. Just plain up gold golden. Um, it's got, you know, I had a big, a big kind of fluffy white head, dissipated pretty fast, bubbles pretty small, very classic looking for the style, nothing to really speak of, nothing really stands out, just looks really good. So um, let's get an aroma. Very nice, light tropical fruit citrus notes, mainly citrus but light. You know, it's not too overpowering, it's not in your face, really, you're not gonna smell it across the room. It's like, you know, you gotta dig a little bit, but it's there. You know that citrus rind, kind of orange peel, I guess like um, some peach, maybe tangerine or something like that. Pretty pretty mellow smelling though. Um, I did just take it out of the fridge, so it's a little cold, but um, you know, it smells nice, it smells uh, refreshing. Let's get a taste, guys. Cheers. Mm. A lot of bitterness to this one. Um, it's hoppy. It does have a lot of hops to it, but um, more bitter than I would expect. Touch of sweetness up front. Mm, the citrus is there, but I wish it was more pronounced. It's um, it's good. It's I don't think it's great. I think it it could be. See, there's a really the bitterness in the end that it finishes with, I don't really care for. It's kind of, it's not a sweet finish. It's not a, a, a very mellow finish. It's kind of a bitter finish for me. Um, and you get a little bit of that orange and, and kind of grapefruit up front um, with the hops. And it's, it is very clean and refreshing, I will say that. Uh, pretty light body, this one. Body's, body's definitely light. It's clean, it's refreshing, great for a hot day, great for summer. Um, you know, as far as pale ale goes, pale ales go, it's really good. Um, I don't know, I don't know. I, I, this one doesn't do it for me like the other ones, the other uh, hobby beers from Hill Farmstead really blow my mind. But um, for what it is, for the style, it's probably up there with the best. I mean, I've had some really good pale ales. You know, one that comes to mind would be Zombie Dust. Like, I think that's you know, a phenomenal pale ale. Um, and there's a lot of them now. But this one's pretty good. I don't think it's that great. I would not go crazy getting a growler of this again. Uh, a little bit too much bitterness to, for me. And the aroma's a little bit, leads me to believe it's a little bit different tasting than it is. But it's good. It's really good still. Overall, uh, Beer Advocate, this has a 97 rating. So maybe I'm Maybe I'm the minority on this one, but that's okay. That happens. So, um, you know, like I said, I'm not going to give my rating on these because they're all phenomenal and they're all up in the higher 90s. So what's the point? So um, I just think it's really good. Um, it's not my favorite, but that's my opinion. So let me know if you guys have had What is Enlightenment from Hill Farmstead and um, what you think compared to the, their other hobby beers maybe. And I'll see you in uh, the next beer review. Lots more to come. Cheers.